it's Christine and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, let's face it guys that uh, we are going to wear face masks every day of our lives for a while. So for the last few months, it is recommended for all of us to wear face masks every day in public places where social distancing is difficult to maintain. So the downside naman nito is yes, uh, as experts agree on the importance of wearing face masks, it can help uh, to slow the spread of the coronavirus. But the downside for some people, especially for us healthcare workers who work 8 hours and 12 hours a day wearing face mask, full face mask every day. Yung downside naman dito is that nakakaroon tayo ng skin irritation and sometimes skin redness itchiness, acne, uh, or even the tiny clusters of pimples around our nose and the mouth due to the face coverings. Because when you blend together yung trap breeds, oil and sweat sa face natin, this will end up a heat and moist environment around your face or under your mask that often leads to great risk of skin irritations. So today, I prepared, for, I preferred for you guys, I prepared for you guys five things that can help you to prevent and to keep your skin healthy, clean, and protected while wearing face mask every day. Number one, choose a soft, natural, and breathable material. Okay? Now we can purchase masks everywhere as in variety of places online, even from the stores, pharmacy, drug stores, grocery stores, everywhere. Dito nga sa Saudi Arabia, even from Jarir and Extra, which are known stores for gadgets, you can find a mask from them. But you shouldn't just buy any attractive looking mask as in a mask, a mask naman is not uh, recommended for you to use as pamorma lang. So it is uh, used for you as your protection. So you need to choose the tight, secured fit with tightly woven fabric. So it basically you want something soft, natural, and breathable like 100% cotton. So ito yung mga mask na uh, cotton siya and uh, breathable and make sure you avoid synthetic materials such as polyester, nylon, because these are most likely the fabric that can make you sweat which will dampen or namomoist your skin mo and in return, this is the cost of the skin irritation. Number two, you have to pinpoint the skin irritation. Of course, diba? some of us, we have different kinds of skin. So maybe you, uh, these rosets can open uh, sometimes in or on your mask as opposed to. Because irritations is caused by friction and trap moist. So yun yun. So some people may be allergic to adhesives or dyes or even dun sa detergent na ginagamit mo when using your mask. So to avoid this one, if you uh, started to feel or experience irritation, you should advise or consult the advice of your dermatologist. Of course, uh, the first way to do this one, because yung rashes kasi no, on top of the tip of your nose, it might be because of the, if you have rashes on top of the tip of your nose, might as well the cause of that is the adhesive that they use para mag uh, fit yung mask sa nose natin. So if it is around the ears naman, it may be from the material of the ear straps. So maybe that is the cause. Pwede rin yung cause niya is yung detergent na ginagamit mo in cleaning your mask. So these detergents might contain harmful uh, ingredients or harmful uh, materials na uh, hindi applicable sa skin mo. So, if the entire area covered by the mask on your face is irritated, so it could be likely the soft you are using. Yun yung cost niya. 
So, as recommended, uh, you should use products for sensitive skin. You should avoid those detergents with uh, dyes and uh, scented detergents. So, because uh, you can use this one time, downy I think, unscented, meron yata sa yung mga ganun, or yung mga fabric conditioners na unscented. You use all the types, make sure the product is for sensitive skin, kahit na panlaba lang yan. And then also, it helps to add an additional cycle to run, or extra rinse cycle, pag nilalaban nyo yung uh, mask nyo. Also, it can help kung ihahandwas nyo na lang to make sure you get rid of all the buildups of detergents in your mask. Okay, so number three, create a barrier with moisturizer. Of course, guys, putting moisturizer on your face throughout the day is the best way to decrease yung friction between the skin and the mask. As, your, as part of your daily routine. I know kung magamit naman kayo ng moisturizer but you need to choose the right one because when your face is abraded with friction, the top layer ng skin mo releases water. So as a result, yung skin mo naglulus yung natural moisture niya and it becomes less effective uh, as protective barrier while using your mask. So, if you see your skin started to dry or crack skin, yan na, magi start na yung uh, red inflammation mo. So, uh, it is recommended to apply moisturizer. So, I recommended this uh, oil free moisturizer about uh, an hour or two hours before you use your uh, facial face mask. So, creams, yung may mga creams around uh, everywhere. Actually, maraming moisturizers that you can use as protective barrier uh, replenishment. But uh, you should also use uh, these moisturizers that are oil free because this uh, contains ingredients that won't clog your pores or that they cannot cause acne as well. So for me, personally, every day naman kasi as part of my skin routine, I always use moisturizer. So for about more than 5 years na, I only use one type of moisturizer. So it depends naman for your skin type, but please uh, use the oil-free moisturizer. As for me, I am using this Olay. Olay Fluid. Actually, this is for face and body. Paubos na siya. I use it every day after shower. I put it all over my face. Generous talaga sa paglalagay ng moisturizer since I don't wear makeup. And dahil na yun sa um, nature of work natin. So I only use moisturizer every day even before Corona because I, I, all, I, all, I every day, I always use every day uh, loose powder. Hindi talaga ako na may makeup. So, I'll see to it that I'm using moisturizer also to moisturize my face. Kasi kung hindi, nagmamapa yung mukha ko sa powder. So, it ends up that this moisturizer is now helps me a lot to prevent any skin breakouts. Since I always use face mask every day for 12 hours in my work. So, I advise to you to do this one. Any types of moisturizers will do, but make sure still ay yung mga uh, I mean the yung sa mukha nyo. So number four, you need to keep your skin clean. Of course, di ba? Less is more when it comes to cleansing your face. Please, please, please avoid strong face soap. Okay? Avoid strong face soaps and exfoliators. Kasi na-scratch na, 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 yung face mo. So, use only the mild one with gentle and simple formulas. Okay? I am using also from Olay. Pero hindi mo na siya papakita kasi nasa bahay siya. So, you need to wash your face of course before and after. Sa umaga and even in the night. So, before applying your moisturizer, please wash your face. Uh, face covering and don't 
don't forget to apply your moisturizer. Lastly, if possible naman, I think this is the time for you guys to pause for some of your beauty routine if you can skip using foundation and concealer. As we all know naman kasi mabigat yan sa mukha and it's very hot. Aside from mabigat siya, mainit siya natatra. So might as well when you're wearing makeup under a mask, it increases yung humidity inside your skin. Yan yung nagkukos ng mga plug pores and breakouts. So I think not wearing makeup, not wearing makeup at all will help your skin breathe uh, better or easier. So I didn't tell or hindi ko naman sinasabi na don't use makeup at all but if possible skip nyo na lang muna yung part na yun since uh, you don't want to have skin irritations naman di ba? So number five, stay in touch with your dermatologist. So of course uh, we would all be keeping with our dermatologist checkups. May naman tayong mga insurance. Let's use our insurance. But it may be uh, necessary naman to consult with dermatologist every year para na rin ma-check yung uh, skin natin. So if you develop any skin irritations and it doesn't get any better, even after a few days of keeping it by yourself or using the over-the-counter creams uh, or your rashes become worse, uh, this is the time you should check in to your dermatologist just to see of course what's really going on. So also guys, I have one tip for you that I am using every day. I have this one the, to help your face um, keep hydrated every day. <clears throat> Actually, I only started using this one uh, for I, I'm for six months now. I'm using it. Uh, so this is a facial mist. As you can see, this one is a mist that can hydrate, moisture, and protect mist. So I always have this one in my bag. In the morning, after I face my clean, I, I after I <laughs> clean my face and use my moisturizer of course the moisturizers cannot last for 12 hours especially sa akin because i am addict talaga sa polvo from time to time nag loose powder talaga as in polvo baby powder talaga or yung for now yung ginagamit ko yung powder dito from saudi arabia pero as in loose powder talaga ginagamit ko i never use foundation but yung tendency of course nag moist pa rin inside and sometimes then the dry nag moist nag humid nag dry yun yung cause ng itchiness so this one accidentally ang ganda ng benefit niya sa akin for 6 months this is my third bottle now and i use it every day uh nag hydrate siya and moisture tapos it's a protect mist meron siyang hyaluronic acid and seaweed this is actually for all skin type so you can use this one under your moisturizer so it keeps you hydrated and it keeps your face moist so hindi dry pag nagsuot tayo ng mask. We always bring this one with me on my duty. So ginagamit ko lang naman siya. It's like this. From uh, just lagyan mo lang siya ng konti. Shake it well. Of course, and just spray it on your face and boom! Meron ka ng instant moisture sa face mo. Kahit na nasa duty pa ako or everywhere, it helps ka, really. This is the magic. This is my secret, secret, secret video. So, that's all for today, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something for today and I I hope all of you to take care of all of yourselves and uh, especially for the frontliners, for all the medical healthcare workers. Saludo po ako sa inyo. And I wish you all good luck and always stay here. So, kaya natin to guys. Just keep on fighting.